What's going on, everybody? This is Keegan with 924 Photography, and today I'm going to show you, well, you know what? Hmm. Let me tell y'all. So I've been getting a lot of messages of my last image that I just posted. They were like, hey, man, how did you remove your light man from the scene? And it was more like a wide shot, and he was in it. Well, guess what? I'm going to show y'all that right now. Cue that intro. Well, it's two easy ways. Well, it's two ways that you can do it. Well, it's two ways that I do it. But I'm going to show you the first way to do it. And you have to prep it on scene. So on our way back, I saw this road and it was off private property and I just dipped my truck off and I was like, I want to shoot there. Well, see, the problem with shooting at this time of day, it was 103. So the sun is like kind of up high, kind of going back down. It was camera right. I was at full power on my strobe. Let me show y'all that right now. We have the 8600 Pro. We have the Cheetah Stand 32 by 48 single diffuse full power and it was feathered slightly to the right. One was cold, warm as hell, while style was cold as a polar bear in the Arctic. She had the cool boots on and the hat to tell the story. So I pulled my tripod out to shoot this shot because I knew I wanted to take two shots. This is the key when you want to remove somebody from a background that you know you're going to shoot a wider shot and not a tight portrait. You want to take two shots. Now you can do it handheld, but this is, makes it much easier when you have it on a tripod. So set your tripod up, get your, get your exposure, get everything right and then get ready to take two shots. So the first shot you're gonna shoot, you're gonna shoot with the person in the scene with the light, and then just have your light man to move out. Now, if you're on a tripod, you got time, you can just move them by, out the scene, just don't touch your focus, put it in manual focus, and shoot the shot again. Now, this is the shot where he moved out of the scene from her, she had moved slightly, but it was enough for me to clone it out to make the image look like this. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off, I'm going to export this over into Photoshop. Once we're in Photoshop CC, uh, we're gonna go back to Lightroom real quick. So once we go back to Lightroom, we want to bring over this shot as well. So we're gonna export that over into Photoshop. Now, another way that you can do this is you can, um, you see this side of the background? You can clone this side flip it horizontal and paste it back on this side and kind of blend it back in. That's the second way I'm gonna show you how to do it. This way you can go out and you can do it the right way the first time and you don't have to worry about trying to do that extra stuff. Is we're gonna go over to our other, we're gonna grab our move tool, which is V on your keyboard. And then you're gonna drag it and you can put it over, over the top of here. Once it gets over the top, we're gonna move it over and kind of keep it really straight. It should be pretty straight because it was on a tripod and that's that. So now I'm gonna lower the opacity down just a little bit. As you can see now, you can see the light man is blending in. So what we need to do is we know we, know we need to stay in this frame side. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna create a mask. It's down here, over here in the right hand corner. Click that mask button. We're gonna bring up the opacity. We're gonna invert this layer to black. So that's gonna be Command I on your keyboard. And then you want over here on your left hand side, you want your brush, you want it to be white. So you wanna hit your swatches, there'll be X on your keyboard, which you can go back and forth. You wanna paint with white because you are revealing uh, this scene. You want the other side to come in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our brush. We're gonna do it at 60% and we're gonna lower it down and we're gonna bring the hardness uh, down to about 34%. Now we're gonna start painting this part out of the scene. Now, what I'm gonna do about this, since I want to kind of blend the colors, I'm gonna blend that other soft box back into the scene. And I'm gonna do it just like so. I don't wanna go too close to her. But I'm gonna do it just like this. Take him completely out. It's just that easy guys, right here. Get all the shadows out. Make sure all that is done right there. Now, so I got this over on this side. I'll kind of blend this in just like this. Just a couple of swipes. Now, what I want to do is I want to grab my curves layer. Grab a curves. 
and I am going to use a clipping mask right here. So you will hold option down on your keyboard to this little arrow down and click it right there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to bring my highlights up to kind of match the other side of the scene. It's about right. It's too much to where it blends where you can't tell right there. Turn it on and off. It's very, very minor. All right, so after that's done, I am going to create another layer on the top of this. So I want to hit Shift, Option, Command, E on my keyboard. It creates a new layer. Once I do that, I'm going to grab my stamp tool. Now, uh, this is dark, so I want to paint. I want to change my blending mode here. I want to change my blending mode to lighten. So I'm going to hold Option on my keyboard. And then I am going to sample an area right here, go all the way across my top. And then I'm gonna start painting this out. My computer is running like super slow because I am running uh, this program behind it. I'm gonna let that catch up real quick. All right, so we're going to come here, grab a crowd uh, around this line here, go over here, and I'm going to just paint this out. And I'm just going to go all the way back up. All right, so now we got a discoloration uh, here. So we'll just stamp right here and we'll kind of clone stamp there. Now I'm gonna grab uh, my patch tool and, and I'm just gonna patch across real quick. Just these little areas. You don't have to do it like this. Sometimes I like to do it because it makes it easier for me to blend it. Uh, you always use all the tools to your benefit to get your stuff the way you need it. Uh, it's so many areas that you can do in Photoshop to make stuff blend. Um, but yeah, so that scene is almost good. We have a few little areas that we need to clean up here. So I just kind of move them to the side and kind of blend it in just with my patch tool. And we're gonna merge, uh, we're gonna group these layers real quick. So to group a layer, you highlight all three and then you want to hit uh, Command G. That way we can turn it on and off. And that's how you remove your light man out of this scene. Now. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see it. Zoom in and out right there. Move our light man. And I am going to crop in just a tad here. Bring it down and bring this over and bring this up to right there. And that's how I got that shot to where she was blended out. How easy is that? So um turn it on and off there you go the light man in here and the light man is gone it's just like magic guys so don't make this harder than what it already is um i did say that i was going to show you the opposite way so let's do that right now all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a background layer once i create that background layer so what you want to do right here is you want to grab your rectangular marquise tool and we're going to grab a good portion of this section we're gonna hit command c on our keyboard that makes a copy and then we're gonna hit command v to paste uh, another layer we're gonna hit v on our keyboard to move it over to the opposite side and then we're going to go up to edit we're going to go to transform and we're going to flip horizontal once it flips horizontal we're going to grab our move tool to where it kind of makes sense about right there we can grab our transform tool by hitting command t to make it a little bit bigger the scene right there and then we can hit enter once we hit enter we need to blend this to where it doesn't have those lines in there so what we want to do is we want to create a mask and we want to grab our brush we're going to do it at 40 percent and we got to have it black because we're painting on white. Bring our brush size down and we're going to kind of try to blend. We got to blend her shadow back in here. Right there. And we need to blend this line out. 
So we're gonna gradually blend this line out to make it all nice and even. Now this is what I would have done if I wouldn't have had, um, we're gonna have a problem there. This is what I would have done if we wouldn't have had a tripod on the scene. It would have taken a lot more work, guaranteed. And I need to, like that light man right there, I gotta take him back out here. And let's see if I got any more of this to go. That's about it for that. And then we can kind of blend it in just enough right there. So now what we're gonna do is, since I got that all taken care of, now I wanna create a new layer. So I'm gonna hit Shift, Option, Command, E, make a new layer. I am going to grab, uh, first I'm gonna grab my patch tool and then I'm just gonna patch it across here because it'll just be a lot easier to do that to make this quick right here. And we'll grab our patch tool right here. And now I want to grab my clone stamp tool. Make sure you change your blending mode up here. We're gonna go back to normal. And we're gonna sample right here on this line. And we're going to paint across just like this. Lower our brush, get in just a little bit closer. Sample right here. And we'll paint here. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to get closer to make sure it makes sense because we have a little line here. So I'm gonna grab my pen tool. Like I said, this is the hard way. We're gonna pin it out. We're gonna pin it out right here. And I'm sure it's easier ways to do it. This is the way I like to do it because I know that it'll look authentic. All right, so after you close your uh, pen tool up, you wanna right click, you wanna hit make selection. Once you hit make selection, you want to hit okay. Uh, then you want to grab your stamp tool again, which is S on your keyboard, sample area right here, and then you want to just paint here. And then you can go over because it's not going to go on the arm, and then hit Command D to deselect. Once you do that, we can back it out, and we want to grab our clone stamp tool here. We can kind of blend this in up there, and voila. And then again, like I said, grab J, we'll just, J is my patch tool, or it could be the healing brush. I'm just going to patch this out right here. And then I'll grab my <clears throat> crop tool, I'll crop it in a little bit here, a little bit here, down here, and up here. Hit enter. And this is what I would have done if I wouldn't have had my, um, tripod the tripod makes it so much easier so remember when you're out on location use your tripod it will help you a lot so there you go you have two different ones you have the tripod shot which it was really easy to blend and then you have the clone shot you can't really tell a difference i mean it is like you know you have some um warping here but you can do all that like I could have gone in there and hit transform tool and puppet warp and I could have warped this to make the road straight. You can do so much to make it just perfect. But me prefer for me, I prefer to do it this way. It just makes sense. Well, anyway, guys, so I want to say thank you so much. And until next time, please subscribe if you like this video and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.